company, he later realizes that the reflection is in fact himself. At this stage, the baby fully realizes himself for the first time. Before that, the baby has established a self-consciousness. From the mirror stage, infants now know the opposition between the self and others. So in other words, the babies, now they can realize um, who they are, but they recognize who others are in the mirror. The eyes of others, therefore, is also a great image to show ourselves, to reflect. And the others constantly send restraint signals to ourselves. In the eye of others, the baby internalizes the image in the mirror to itself. Now, I believe that many of you have heard of self-reflection or gained perspective from others through lectures, and etc. But do you know that when you are under such case, do you know what really to do? Or what to reflect on yourselves? Um, so, I never believed in those sentences, uh, but I never thought that one day I would like uh, have faith in those sentences told. And that day was right after I earned my first bucket of money through the junior achievement, the student company. So later that night, I planned to make my first investment in my life. So I took a thousand, couple of thousand uh, RMB into my bank account and established a stock account. And I uh, put an all in, so I took a shot. But in fact, I lost almost like uh, half of the investment. So from that experience, I was literally shocked. And later that night, I stared myself in the mirror and asked myself, so what are you doing? Why did you just waste your money? But then I asked, answered the question myself. Uh, so I stared at the mirror, and I found that a voice in my heart is saying that, well, you just took a shot. It's a failure, but you can still learn from the experience. So that is when I started to believe in what Steve Jobs has once said about the uh, image of the reflection of yourself can actually bring you a broader horizon. So um, I was raised by my grandparents for the first couple years, and for the following years, nothing strange seemed to happen on me. However, when I looked at myself in the mirror that time, I found that for a long time I have never been happy. Um, I later realized the queue might be the high state of my family, so they forced me to follow their steps indirectly. However, because my uh, ambitions or my actions are blocked uh, from my consciousness, I kind of forget about what I really want to do. So at this stage, I'm trying my best to fix this problem that I made, to learn from the mirror. Now, if you do, do not believe in what I say, just think about the jobs, uh, Steve Jobs. He's a successful businessman, right? And he made me believe that I was not mad when I was speaking to myself. So to better understand the term mirror in a modern society, how to use others as a mirror? Well, think of your identities. Take a look at people around you. Ask how they think of you. But that's not realistic, right? It's because when you are trying to analyze yourself through others' eyes, others' evaluation is not sincere enough. It's not under the certain scenario that it will become a really evaluated feedback. So on the other hand, like for instance, only when you make mistakes and others are accused of the mistakes, that is when you should learn. So next time when you look at yourself in the mirror, don't indul be indulged in your appearance, but uh, spend some time to think, and if possible, ask yourself in the mirror, what changes have taken place on you? Which aspects of life has impacted you? And this will not only enrich yourself, but also cast lights on your living. Because according to the Osaka University, engagement with yourself in the mirror actually enlightens your world. To, so to keep a positive mood and to be a person that who really know himself, try to evoke your consciousness through the mirror, and you will be surprised of how to find out who you really are. And that's how my speech. Thank you.